Well, a first ever edition of Clan Fidential, Aaron Murphy, alongside Alex Roach. We thought, who better to get to know first than the newest member of the Glasgow clan? And first off, Roachy, thanks for taking the time to join us on Clan Fidential. You're the first, the first. Really? What an honor then, I guess. Got to kick, got kick it off the right way. You got to kick it off the right way with uh, the good. I shouldn't have got my hair cut. We both could have had the long flow and my bridge doesn't come out, but your bridge is out. So you're looking perfectly hockey for the first episode of Clan Fidential as we get to know Alex Roach. Uh, a simple question to start off. Who was your favorite player growing up and why? Um, I was a massive uh, Detroit Red Wings fan when I was growing up. So it was Sergey Fedorov or Steve Eiserman. I always loved watching them play. They were my two idols growing up. I mean, I turned into a stay-at-home D, so, I mean, it didn't translate over. But, yeah, those were definitely my two favorites. It's interesting to me because when you ask a lot of defensemen about that, they always have a skilled forward as their player that they loved watching, whether it was a Pavel Bure or a Fedorov. And you go, well, you turned into a big uh, hulking stay-at-home defenseman trying to maybe stop the likes of Sergei Fedorov, which, yeah. you know, even to this day would be quite tough. So you're a Detroit Red Wings fan growing up. Is that because of the players or, or, or why was it the Detroit Red Wings? Um, I think they had that huge rivalry with uh, the Colorado Avalanche at the time. and just watching those games back in the day, I, they were always exciting. There was always lots going on. So I was always glued to the TV when those games were on. Yeah, the game has certainly changed a lot, but no one, uh, probably dating myself, you're younger than me, but no one will forget the McCarty, Darren McCarty versus Claude Lemieux, the goal, the Shanahan, uh, the yeah. Shanahan leap against Patrick Waugh. It was, it was a different time, was it? But it was an exciting time. Yeah, the games definitely changed a lot. Um, I remember that grind line that they had with McCarty. Um, who else did they have there? Um, Draper, Malpe. Draper and Holpe, yeah. I remember watching them all the time, and they were always out there making things entertaining. And, yeah, there's a lot of goals, lots of fights, lots of going on, a lot of hate between those teams. So definitely made it for an entertaining game to watch. Well, it certainly was. And we've had a, a bit of a rivalry going with the Cardiff Devils coming off a big win in the Challenge Cup to advance to the semifinals. Easy to say, would that be your highlight so far of joining the EIHL and joining the Glasgow clan? Yeah, for sure. Um, especially they beat us those two first games. Um, I think we both, I think we felt in both of those games that we could have taken them. So it definitely felt good to pull off that Challenge Cup win. And I think, uh, yeah, it turned out for the best, and it was definitely a. It felt like a playoff game out there. Um, we definitely thought that we owed them. So yeah, it was definitely the highlight so far. I would imagine the rallying cry was "Let's get this done for Nate Callen," and certainly he would have been smiling after that uh, that big win three one on Wednesday. Who was the biggest influence on your hockey career to date, uh, Rochi? Uh, definitely my dad. I mean, he played growing up, or when we were growing up. Um, he definitely, like, he spent a lot of hours back in the day building a backyard rink for us so we could spend, you know, eight, nine, ten hours out there and <laughs> keep us out of trouble, keep us out of the house. But, yeah, me and my brother, I definitely, I think we could both say that. He uh, spent a lot of hours as well managing our teams or putting our teams together when we were playing growing up. So he was definitely our biggest influence. I, can, I think I can speak for both of us. Yeah, my dad has since passed away, but did your dad use the sprinkler? The sprinkler going all night to ice the backyard rink? Yeah, he had that going. Um, it was almost like a little mini pool that was probably like two or three inches high, and he would be spending hours out there making that for us. So, yeah, he definitely spent a lot of hours back then. And then uh, we also had this outdoor rink, which is one of my dad's buddies' place. It was called Oak Gardens, so we had also spent a lot of time there. Yeah, God rest my dad's soul. But I remember he'd have a dark uh, rum in Newfoundland to keep warm, and he'd have the sprinkler and the hose going. It'd be about minus oh, yeah. 25 in Newfoundland. And the neighbors thought he was crazy, but all the neighborhood kids came over for a skate after school. Great, great memories. When you look at your pro career now, I mean, 120 odd games in the DEL, you've had some great stops. So, what has fueled you? What's your favorite pregame meal wherever you go? Oh, that's a tough one. Um... You know what? Usually for the pregame meals, I kind of mix it up. I uh, I don't like to have too many too many of the same meals in a row, but um, usually chicken, rice, and a couple of veggies. Avocado I always throw in there, so that's kind of my go-to as of right now. 
Yeah, healthy has to be the way going forward. And the game has changed a lot. Gone are the days of having a, a stake, a massive stake before a game, which might have been the, the case when you started off your career. What's your favorite music to listen to on a game day or, or even just any time? Um, for game days, uh, I do like a lot of like remixes, a lot of um, – I'm not too stuck on one genre, but usually, um, you know, some stuff that gets me pumped up a little bit, especially 15 minutes before the game, I like to have – you know, some remixes and maybe a little rock, some old rock songs I used to love with growing up. But um, mostly during the day, I'll do country or, you know, anything that's easy to listen to. And yeah, I'm not a huge music guy. I'm probably one of the only guys that doesn't have any music downloaded on their phone. So. Oh, OK, well, who's who's in charge of the, the dressing room music? I'd have to think it's probably Cody Soul, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I think he's de he's definitely the guy on practice days. I'm not too sure actually who does it during the game, but yeah, I think that there's a couple guys rotating in and out doing those. What's your favorite movie? I mean, this time of year, a lot of people are saying Elf or a Christmas movie. What's your what's your go to movie on a road trip? Ooh, on a road trip, that's tough. Um, you know, I don't know about movies. There's probably a couple up there, but right now I'm rewatching The Office, and uh, I've been loving that. So. That's got to be at my go-to right now. Well, the office is a classic. What's your favorite city you visited in your hockey career so far? Is it is it from your DEL days or from the North American days, or maybe it's Glasgow? Um, yeah, Glasgow has actually been right up there. Um, it's been great so far. I've loved every uh, minute being here. But um, playing in Berlin was a cool place to live. Lots of history, lots going on. Like just a huge city that I've never experienced a city like that before. Cool. Craig Anderson, our producer, is asking, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? That's the age-old uh, question. Is it Bruce Willis? Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? What's your vote? Uh, I'm going to have to go no. No. <laughs> Nakatomi <laughs> Tower is not a place for Christmas. Who's the toughest guy you've ever faced on the ice? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I played with this guy named Jeremy Oblonsky for a yeah. year. And I've got to say, he's definitely up there. He's a scary guy for sure. Yeah, he's he's played in all the top leagues, hasn't he? Yablonski and was it was a teammate with uh, John Morastia as well. They were yeah. there were some tough guys uh, back in those days. Who's the, the funniest guy in the clan room? Is there someone when you came? Because let, let's be honest, you come in here, you would have known Dyson Stevenson from the WHL days. I think you and Dice even fought at some point uh, yeah. in your junior days. But who would who would have been the funniest guy, kind of welcoming you into the to the fray? Uh, it's got to be Cody Soul. I mean, this guy's just got. Uh... <laughs> he's got that personality that's always trying to make you laugh. So I, I think I'm going to have to give him the top, top vote for that. Yeah, he is. He's full of personality, loves his hockey. And, and both of you guys, two of the bigger players in the EIHL, I'm sure you have a, a good laugh with some of the guys uh, in the room. When you're looking at sort of the, the deal to get the, together and get to be a part of the clan, what it was a frenetic few weeks there, a frenetic few days as, as the whole process was coming together. I mean, what was going through your mind? What did you know about the EIHL and, and sort of Glasgow as, as a team? Um, I honestly didn't really know too much about it, but um... – I asked a couple of guys. I knew Steve Dixon when I played in Wolfsburg. He was my roommate on the road, and I was asking him about that. So he said that I would love it here. So I took kind of took his word for it. And then I, I roomed with Cody Soul, my first year pro, which would have been close to 10 years ago now. And uh, just asked him about it, and he said things were great. Um, so, yeah, that was one of the big decision points was also that coming to a place where everyone was speaking English again. So... For me and my girlfriend, that made everything, the transition a lot easier, for sure. Well, it's that time of year where we're all getting in the festive mood and all that. Is there a, a gift from your childhood that you remember as like your favorite Christmas gift ever? Ooh, oh, yeah, for sure. Easton Synergy, when those things came out. I remember that was definitely the highlights of all my Christmases. Or I think. One year we got the iPod videos, if you remember those. It was like the same iPod, but with the screen so you could watch the music videos on it. I, I was like the head of school for that for a bit. Was the Eastern Synergy, was it the yellow one or was it the silver and blue one? No, it was the silver, the original one. 
Yeah, it was a beauty. My favorite gift ever was the Micron Megas. Not the plastic Micron skates, but remember the ones that Ray Bork and Cam Neely wore, the oh, Micron yeah, Megas, yeah. the pr proper skate. Best uh, best ever Christmas gift that I remember. Those are long gone, and I don't know if you could find a pair of those, but if anyone wants to put a pair of those under my tree, uh, nostalgia would be uh, would be high. Uh, last question. When, when you look around to your, your hockey career to date and, and you think about the things you want to accomplish, I mean, you're here here now with the Glasgow clan we're in a good position in the cup I mean the league is wide open the playoffs certainly we want to be a playoff team what's what's your hope for the rest of the year um I I think we're right up there with those top teams so I think our goal should be to be at the top or near the top and I think um especially in a playoff game format like the challenge cup I think we can really excel so I think our goal should be to win everything I mean maybe we won't reach all of those goals but I think as a team and as a hockey player, you want to win every single game. So that should be our goal, to be at the top. Have to be ambitious. Have to enjoy your hockey. We certainly have uh, enjoyed having you on the first ever edition of Clanvidential. And Alex Roach, we are so happy to have you in purple this season. Hope you're enjoying it as well. And again, thanks for taking the time to join us on Clanvidential. Thanks for having me, Murph.